I got this. Ugh. Yo, Dr. Shillelagh with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the 4A crew. Follow me in the chat for that incredible sub. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that a lot. Also, you should be the bit boss, or someone should be. Yeah, you the bit boss. Nice shades. Alright, uh, probably Giga Sarmlin, honestly. I see nothing else. You don't have long range? Or do you and it got mastered? Oh, yeah, you got mastered. Okay, we're gonna do... You have destruct, right? Oh, but I need dispel. Shoot. I need to master this. I need to, like, go master this real quick. Can I actually... They give a bunch of, they give a bunch of AP down here, right? I need to spell for uh, region. I don't get like brutally murdered down here. Uh, let's see. Let's. You have a triple, right? Yeah. Let's just do that. Oh, you're right. I'm using... I'm using resist, not dispel. I guess I don't need dispel. Well, I might need dispel later, so... Just to be safe. And since it's so close to mastering, I'll just master it. But yeah. Yeah, I'm using resist, not dispel, so I guess right now I don't need it. But who knows what later he puts up. Like, he does have a shield that he puts up sometimes. That I've seen. During that second form, so... fights. Does Odin add an effect work? Because it doesn't actually say that he's like death... You know what I mean? Like it doesn't say death uh, element or anything. Like everyone else has an element he doesn't have one. I guess Hades doesn't have one either and he works. So yeah. Odin added effect might work. I don't know if it works in this mod, but... Remember when these things used to just, like, tear into me? Remember that? Before I... ...source farmed and now we're awesome together. Was the info in my message useful at all? Uh... Yes. I don't remember what you said. The slow thing? I don't really care about slow and haste. Because it's active battle. Just equip it and check the status screen? I guess that's true. I'll try it. Uh, 
Well, it says I'm immune to death. And near death. And death sentence. So yeah, I guess, uh... I guess that means that Death Force doesn't go through Ribbon. Officially. I sent you a message last week about items. Items. Which items? I got a lot of messages last week. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember exactly the one. But I'm sure it was helpful. Why did the doctor accept the new patient? He figured it might as well give him a shot. Might as well. A good meteor shower can really rock your world. Alright, that's... I don't know about that one. Yeah, time might be good too. I only have so many added effects. I think I only have one actually. I should level add up. It's probably far away from being mastering it. mastered though. Uh, well, I never sort my items, so I just don't. I always do it custom, custom, I don't, like ever sort by the game sorting, which drives everyone on YouTube nuts. They're like sort your items. Why I don't use them? <laughs> Why sort something I don't use? It cracked me up how like mad people got during like the new threat mod because I wouldn't sort my items. Two hundred AP, really. Like there was like maybe three times that I had to go through my items to find something, and they're like, "Oh my God, you won't sort your items." I'm like, "I'm not sorting my items for three items that I need throughout the entire game playthrough." <laughs> like ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, the item I needed was at the top of my inventory. If I had Organize my items, I would have forgotten where those items were. But they would have been sorted for like two instances where I needed them. Oh boy. I sort them when I need them, that's it. Because OCD. Well, I, I don't have OCD, so don't yell at me. If you have OCD, then sort your items. Don't, why do I need to sort my items? Get out of here. So let's see here. We'll give you added effect Odin. I don't think I have another added effect. No. Oh, it's actually pretty close to... Okay. See, I should have done this then. I can give two people. I can give Red 13 and Cloud Death Proof. And then I don't really care about slow. I think I could I could maybe stop stop, but yeah. <laughs> you have OCD, because OCD stands for original CD. Uh magic pots are pretty good for AP still, but almost everything in this mod gives a ton of AP, and the magic pots are actually super annoying in this mod. It, they like take forever to kill and steal rare items, and they can run away at any time. So actually, I think I prefer this, or just fighting the other things in the, uh, the northern cave. The pots are pretty annoying. 
Although now with Mime and 4X Cut and Power Sources, I should be okay. I should be able to just like throw the Elixir and then 8X Cut and kill him. But you gotta be careful because they sometimes they're just like, steal the item, I'm gone. And then you have to reset. Depending on what the item is, but most of the time it's like an ultimate weapon or something. Then we'll give them both death proof, and that's really the only thing that's like costing me. Like, stop sucks, but it doesn't kill me. It just slows down things. Death keeps killing me because I can't revive. If he, if he auto kills Red 13, I can't revive anyone because I don't have two X items. So, with death proof, we should be alright. This fight will be easy peasy. I'm just gonna start every form, just instant frog song, dispel or uh, resist, and then. 8x cut and they should just die every time. I ain't worried. I ain't worried till we get to like form 13 and he has like Knights of the Round or something. <laughs> yeah, that's not something that the mod did though. That's that's just OG uh, OG Final Fantasy 7 where they had the the pots steal like ultimate weapons. I don't know why they would do that. That seems like such a weird thing to do in a game. Like, have you ever heard of another RPG that has an, an enemy that can steal permanent items? Like, items you can only get once? That seems so weird. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they chose to do that. It's pretty... That's pretty mean. Alright, uh... So... We are gonna do... Odin added effect, and then on you. We'll do. Added effect. Uh, actually, does level 1 destruct even work? I'm not sure if it does or not. It stops death, but not near death. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I could just give... What do I do with my other... Destruct. There it is. So we'll give you... The leveled up Destruct, and I'll give you... Well, let me just keep the level up Destruct, I guess. Oh, that doesn't, what does near death? Why do you have near death protection? I guess that's just Odin. That's interesting. <clears throat> Did not know that. Um, you can have a poopy counter attack. this boss. Let's do it. Alright. We ready? Let's do it. I'm dead. Just kidding. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, I got rid of your enemy skill.
Because Cloud's the best person to use it because he doesn't have anything else to do in the beginning. I knew I was missing something. Two more. Don't touch that. As long as I have Red 13, just throw Mega Elixirs every turn, which I didn't this turn because I, you know, thought that wouldn't happen, but it did. Luckily, you dodged it though. Uh, we should be alright. He also has mine, so if I throw two hero drinks on somebody, I can mine a double hero drink. But that's not really necessary, because I'm only throwing hero drinks on Yuffie and Cloud. I don't care about Red 13. Although I guess now that he has anti-death, I can go ahead and do it just for fun. I'll just have it do him while, while he's throwing Mega Elixirs, I'll just have him throw a hero drink on himself too for fun. Yeah, that's the plan, Jeff. I'm literally gonna have Frog Song and uh, Resist, like, ready to go. <laughs> to be frank, no one cares about Red 13. Wow. Savage. Yeah, I can't do it. I mean, I don't really need to be like standby with it because resist just stops him from regening. But regen goes off really fast anyways, and he'll have full health, so I don't care for regen. At least I think that's how it works. Uh. I love how this fight now looks like we're fighting a backwards frog the whole time. Backwards frog boss. See ya Shillelagh, thanks again for the sub, appreciate it a lot man. Have a good one. Yuffie, why are you dealing so little damage? What are you doing? What's cool is I can queue up a mime and it'll work right after he dies because mime targets myself. Unless that happens, then I guess it won't work. <laughs> Unless he waits a turn before he revives himself. What? He revived himself as a frog? That's weird. I didn't know that would happen. How does it even work? How would he keep a status effect through death? Doesn't make like, any sense. Now Cloud's doing, like, more damage. Holy crap, I might have just killed him there. Before he could even move. Because I had, like, everything queued up. <laughs> wow, this works. I wonder if this will keep happening. What if I just get, get him in, like, this permanent loop where every time he revives, Cloud just gives him the business. Oh, you know what's happening? He's reviving in between my W item. So I'm automatically getting the turns because he's waiting. He waits until the next turn, but it was it was happening in between my W items. See, now he got regen off though, so he's probably not gonna die. 
Oh, I did kill him. <laughs> this is hilarious. He keeps doing it, like right now. He did it again. So, there's my first item. Now he's going to revive, and then my second W item goes off. And then Cloud's going to get his turn. It's kind of like the Ruby strat a little bit, only completely on accident. <laughs> Not on purpose. And then if if uh, if Yuffie gets her mime off quick enough, we just kill him. He's in this never-ending state of not being able to get his turn. Get roasted, game. <laughs> this is pretty great. Yep, I'm in this perfect loop. Every single time, Red 13 gets his turn right before he dies. So he keeps throwing his first item and then his second item. And it's throwing off this guy's timing. It's automatically queuing up Cloud's attack. And then he he's responding with the regen attack. But the regen isn't giving him enough health. Because Yuffie mimes too quickly. This time he got a, a heal off though. So I'm wondering if maybe he'll be alright this time. He got that other heal off though, which uh, saved him. Yeah, I think he's gonna be alright this time. I don't know, he did counterattack. Let's see what happens. No. Air Geist? What? We're playing Air Geist now? I don't need to resist him again. Nice, whatever it was supposed to do. That was pretty great though. We got through like three forms just because of W item. But then he got that Asuna off, whatever that attack is that like gets him out of frog. I should probably put him back in frog. Ah! I did zero damage, get arrested. You know a frog song? Xeno Gears? Is he gonna attack me with Xeno Gears? If he attacks me with Legend of Ligaya, that's it, I'm done. I can't win. I can't defeat Legend of Ligaya. There's no way. It's too good. Active time saved him. Yeah. If it was on weight, he wouldn't have. He probably would have just been stuck forever. Ow! Alright. I, I see ya. I see your damage. I see how it goes. Max damage through hero drinks. Feels good. Frog song on nobody. Get roasted. This could be bad if Cloud doesn't get his turn fast enough. Which, he is going to get a turn before Cloud, but hopefully he gets this Mega Elixir off. Hopefully he doesn't do something stupid like kill Cloud. Or kill Red 13. He needs to hit Yuffie with this, is what needs to happen. Or just deal damage and not kill Cloud. Or I I don't know what Vagrant's gonna do. That sounds bad. Oh god, he's hitting my 13. No, no, please. Oh, he hit everybody! Ow! Christmas, dude! That wasn't nice. Hey, that's my move. That's Gauntlet. Don't hit me with my own move. That's not nice. You gonna give Red 13 a turn or am I dead? Let me see if Red 13 gets a turn. Come on, Red 13, get a turn. Please. Please. Don't hit Red 13. Don't hit Red 13. Don't hit Red. No!
least Yuffie dodges everything. I think I need to give Yuffie 2x item. She just survives much easier. Dang, dude. See, if I had 2x item, I'd be fine. Well, sort of fine. I don't know if I can do anything if he's just auto-killing two of my characters every turn. I don't know what I can do to survive that. What am I supposed to do? Oh, cool. So what the heck is this Vagrant bullcrap? What am I supposed to do against that? Vagrant is based on current HP. So if I have max HP, it kills me? What if I don't have max HP? Does it not kill me? Do I need to damage myself to survive it? No, there's no way, because I revived Red 13 and he had only 2,000 HP and it just dealt max damage again. The heck? HP of attacker. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. I call that fair. Hey, buddy. I use... Seymour Cat Attack. That'll defeat him. Seymour, get away from that. Hey! Don't touch Bony. What's up, Zuloff? I was thinking for a second, I was wondering if maybe like a Yuffie solo would be better. Since she has the Mistile and can dodge a lot of stuff. I was thinking maybe like, just have her alone with 4x cut. But... You have four. You should have four now. Always killed as a frog, yeah. I think honestly as long as I keep Red 13 like ready to heal instead of like healing constantly then I can I can I can see if he's gonna turn into a frog and then quickly cast frog song if needed. 
I think I just caught cast Frog Song here. Like, even though he's gonna be a frog again. Like, just to make sure, just in case he... He responds with, uh... Just in case he responds with the Asuna attack. Like, instead of trying to kill him before he casts regen, just always start with resist and frog song. The only problem is frog song actually turns him back normal if he doesn't this one. I guess I could just use it twice. Crap, though, I cast. Oh, no, I cast resist, though. Uh. Great! Perfect! Just what I wanted to see. Where are my... Every time he gets lucky, I have to like put my hero drinks back on and blah. Oh, I cast resist. You know what would really help for this fight? Omni Slash. Fine, Omni Slash, I could probably just one shot him and then mime Omni Slash over and over. I didn't think of it before, but probably could. I wonder if I could even use Yuffie's to do that. Wait, where did my frog song go? I cast resist too quick again. Either that or the spell isn't getting rid of resist, but it should. It normally does. No! Oh. <laughs> I hate this fight, dude. I'm about to go get Omni Slash. You know, what, you know how e much easier this fight would be if I had Omni Slash. Like it's doable, but it'd be incredibly, it'd be like a thousand times easier if I had Omni Slash, and I could just one shot him, and then just mime it over and over. I'm about to just do that. Like a thousand times easier, because I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to queue up like four different people. Well, okay, maybe. Maybe what I do instead of getting Omni Slash is I just get uh, Doom of the Living, because I I should just have to use Gauntlet a few times to get Doom of the Living. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do though. We shall find out. <laughs> yeah, let's just use Knights of the Round. Oh no, wait. Because if I can do it with Yuffie, then I can, uh, I can just make it a Yuffie show. Like, use Yuffie. She dodges everything. Ew, that thing is creepy looking. Holy crap. Wait, you didn't get your limit from that? You did 7,000 damage! How'd you not get your limit? What are you, what are you kidding? For some reason, he's only attacking Yuffie, too. Oh, there we go. Oop, I 
mean to hit you, Fee. Yeah, I mean, I think if I just make sure that I keep him in frog, like, I'll be fine. But I kind of want to see if Doom of the Living would do, like, even more damage. I think I might try it one more time. Because, like, all I gotta do is keep him in frog. I was just an idiot and cast resist. Cast frog song while he was in frog and then cast resist. So it turned him out of frog and then resisted him from turning back into frog. But if I don't do that, I should be alright. Like, I think I can do it. Alright, I'm just gonna get one more try. I'd like to get Doom of the Living, but... It's going the wrong way. See ya, David. Thanks again for the uh, sub, I appreciate it so much. Have a good one. Uh, we gotta do Knights of the Round, we gotta do the Battle Arena, we gotta do the two weapons, and then we gotta do the final dungeon. Which actually, the final dungeon is the hardest part, apparently. Which is cool, I like when mods do that, because I always thought the final dungeon should be, like, the hardest part. Okay. I guess, I don't think I have anything to move over. We have enemy skill. I think I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give W item to you, because you survive a lot easier. And you can. You already have this uh, destruct, but you need. Meteor Rain too. You're right. I can mine Meteor Rain. I might try that after this. Your enemy still doesn't have Frog Song? What kind of bottom feeder are you? This is what I'm talking about with this mod, dude. Like, all mods I play, this crap always happens. Whenever I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give Yuffie everything because she dodges everything, she gets hit two times in a row. After like, eight attempts where she like, dodged almost everything. Granted, she didn't have hero drinks yet, but still. It's like, that crap always happens. As soon as it's like, alright, I got this figured out, he's just like, nah, I'm gonna RNG you into the floor. Mods have ears, it's official. Mods definitely have ears. I do have my anti-death stuff equipped, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Two more hero drinks on Yuffie, three more on Cloud. And we're good to go. And Red 13's just gonna sit here and throw Mega Elixirs the entire fight. <laughs> That's all he's gonna do. That's his only job. Nothing but throw Mega Elixirs. Instead of having W item for no reason now, 
Yuffie has it, so if anyone dies, you can quickly Phoenix down and Mega Elixir them back up. Should have gotten rid of his uh, his W magic because he doesn't really have any reason to cast two magics. Looks like he cast Comet for fun. You had a frog invasion in your town. <laughs> that, that reminds me of uh, in um, Don't Starve one time. I had a I did a randomly generated map and I had like a huge pig village right next to a giant field of swamps with the, the swamp frog enemy. And every day in the morning the pigs would get up and like roam around and then the second it turned dusk all the frogs would come out and the pigs and the frogs would fight in this giant war this never-ending war every day <laughs> it was pretty pretty great please don't tell me this is gonna be like So every day I would walk out there and either I'd see like this giant war going on or I would just see like frog legs and pig meat just scattered all over the place, which is pretty amazing. I kept that file for a long time because every day I could just go over there and pick up like endless supplies of meat, which is one of the hardest things to get in the game. You're kidding! Why would he attack Cloud twice in a row? This always ha I just got set up, like I just got ready to go. I was literally just casting resist. fight just knows how to goon me so so well. Don't tell me I haven't cast resist yet. Why is Red what is Red 13 doing? Oh he's throwing things. I was like why is he still out of turn? Um Yeah, it does exactly 500 MP damage. It's not like half, it just does 500. This first form is so frustrating. I don't know why. It just seems like he attacks way more than the other forms. 
The other forms have, like, scarier attacks, but this form seems to always just get me. Uh, I guess I should go resist out first. So I'm gonna keep thoughts to I don't know, if this 4x card can go fast enough. gonna play this a little safer. Instead of trying to like super uh melt him. Okay, so having him in frog is stopping dirge, which is like the one attack that's killing Cloud all the time. So I'm hoping Frog also stops uh rampant or uh rampant. Whatever that thing was. Yeah. No, Vagrant. Vagrant story. Vagrant. I need to keep your turn up in case I need the frog again. And instead of using everybody's turns every turn, I'm just gonna have Cloud attack and then keep everybody else back in case I need them. If someone dies, you can quickly revive them. If Red 13, or if he gets rid of Frog, Red 13 can quit the Frog Song. And Red 13 can also cast Resist right when I need it. Which is probably what I'll do actually instead of the other way around. So now I cast Resist right off the bat. Cloud get his 4x cut off before Red 13 got resist on it. Okay. I must have already. Oh, I think. Oh, because I killed him with a counter attack, that's why. I was like, didn't I kill him with the 4x cut? But apparently not. Did resist just miss? I guess resist persists. I don't think it did though, because he always got regen off. Maybe not. But now he's got a shield. I'm just gonna cast resist anyways. Wow, that's cool. Attack me when he's not even alive yet. Uh, I'm not gonna take a chance on the throw my glitch here. Then, okay, so he's off resist now. He didn't get rid of his frog. Should be a mega lecture here after resist. Oh, that's right. I think resist just missed because I double cast it. That shouldn't do anything. So all of his scariest attacks don't do anything as long as I keep him in frog. So that's that's the name of the game, this frog here. Frog is the key to victory. Because there's nothing else I can do to like defend against these attacks, they just do max damage for one reason or another. The one attack does max damage because of how many kills Cloud has, the other one does max damage because of his health. And I'm sure there's plenty more terrible max damage attacks to come. Let's 
so weird. Cloud, like, counterattacks the fact that he revives. <laughs> like, his revive attack somehow hits us, and we, like, counter it. It's weird. Yeah, Air Geist wasn't actually one of the scary ones, but the other ones were. Air Geist, like, could get hit by, but... Still kind of nice that I'm not. Ow. The one person not immune to that. That's really unlucky. But he has resist, so I'm not too worried. He should stay a frog and not do too much else. So I should have time to heal Yuffie. Plus, Yuffie's easy to heal because she dodges a lot. The problem is when I have to revive, like, Red 13 and he just keeps dying. Because he has no defense. The second resist miss. I have to double cast it because I have W magic on my 13. I should have just gotten rid of it. Oh, he was countering the, the 5100 attack. That makes sense. That's weird though that the counter gets like pushed back until there's no tar until there's a target. You'd think you'd just try to counter attack and hit nothing because there's nothing left. Uh, okay. And I need you ready with resist in case it goes away because this is taking longer than normal. That makes sense. I didn't think it was part of it because he's done other things before too. But if it was part of it, then it would make sense that he attacks, then revives, then I counterattack. God dang it. That's so unfortunate. It's a 1 in 3 chance to hit Yuffie and then like what seems like a maybe 25% chance that he auto kills her. And I've and he's done it twice in a row now. That is a that is a definite feels good man. That is a definite thank you come again. Yeah, sorry, but I'm not farming for yet another death proof when it's like a 1 in 10 chance that happens. I'll, I'll just stick with my chances, however big or small they are. Uh, see you, Drix. Have a good one. This is going. We're going. This could be the one. How many times have we killed him so far? Four or five? As long as I just keep that resist ready to go every time he dies. What's up, Flailing Ben?
could mine, but things are going well the way they're going, so I'm not gonna bother. Just keep Yuffie up just in case. Don't hit Yuffie. Gas is working out perfect. Every time he revives, just throw the resist down. I'm just waiting for that time when he Isuna's the the frog, and then I cast resist, and then I'm up a creek. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm operating on the uh, assumption that that won't happen because it seems like he doesn't get rid of the frog until a couple turns in. Actually, that couldn't hit that 13 either. I was pretty lucky there. What's up, Cerebrone? It's not actually a frog. I turned it into a frog. It's actually a cat. A cat with 13 lives. 12 or 13 lives. A lot of lives, put it that way. A healthy amount of lives. The death force wasn't working before. I think it's because I have ribbons, but I'm not 100% sure. But it wasn't working. I had to put Odin added effect and uh, death added effect, destruct added effect to get rid of it. And I would, if I would like farm for a third one, but like I said, it's not worth it. Yuffie doesn't get hit by that attack much. And even if it does attack, hit her, it doesn't always auto kill. Need a Mega Elixir like yesterday. Hopefully this doesn't kill Red 13. Yeah, it's gotta be the ribbon that cancels Death Force. There's no other explanation. Alright, uh... I'm just throwing hero drinks because there's no reason not to, but there's... Everyone's fully hero drink, they've been fully hero drink forever. getting there. We're close. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. That's what I did, Gordo. On both Cloud and Red 13. I don't have a third one to give you. Yo, Fox Magoo! How's it going, my man? Same name every time. That was weird. That's not what he normally casts. No! That's not good. I think I took too long. That's not good at all. 
Uh, that one time when I was like sitting there screwing around, reading my chat, and I didn't 4x cut quick enough. And he was able to get out of frog. And now I'm really in. I got, I got issues now. I wish. Oh, you do have to spell. Can I. Well, that doesn't really work, does it? I can. Dragoon? That doesn't sound good. I don't like the sound of that. Oh god, that looks terrible. Please don't kill anybody. Don't kill anybody. Please tell me I got all my turns off. Before he does something else terrible. Oh, that was so lucky. That was so incredibly lucky that that hit Red 13. Okay, we should get all our turns now. So we should dispel him, then turn him into a frog, then fully heal. Hopefully. Hopefully. Freaking hopefully. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, hopefully. And then I can resist him. Let's hope. Please, frog. Thank you. Alright, we're back on track. That was a close one. Yeah, that was so lucky. If he killed anybody else, I was probably screwed. Or if he killed anyone, but he hit Red 13, who was the only one that could survive that attack. I was, like, incredibly lucky. Yeah, I really didn't want to have to do this fight again. I'm, I'm pretty glad that that didn't go bad. This could have gone really bad. Ah, oh, that really sucks. After all that, then I get unlucky and he kills Yuffie. Ah, oh, crap! I used Red 13's turn too. Shoot. This isn't good. I hope this doesn't kill him, but I think it's going to. Oh, it didn't kill him, okay. Ah, oh, crap, that killed him. No! This isn't good. You need to throw that Mega Elixir right now, Cloud. I hope that was fast enough. Stand by for possible death. Oh, final death! That sounds fun. <laughs> good thing he was a frog. Okay, we got the resist off. We're good to go. Because <laughs> final death doesn't sound too fun. Not gonna lie. Not sure I want to see that one. That sounds absolutely horrific. That doesn't sound fun at all. What's wrong with killing him? If I had killed him there and I didn't have resist ready, I wouldn't have been able to keep him from turning out of frog and then he would have used final death, whatever that is, which I'm guessing would have been bad. We did it! St Final Death sounds lovely and something you should experience. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on that one. Look at all that experience. An elixir. Just my luck. Final Death deals 99,999 damage inflicting against the death throw through added effect Odin and Destruct. Does it really or is that just something you came up with? I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it did. Alright, that was fun. 
That was that was a great fight because like it wasn't just I figured out the strat and then it was easy. Like even with the strat, I had to pull it off perfectly, and I screwed it up the one time. Yo, Blackwing with the 1,000 bits. Foam finger to you, good sir. Foam finger to you. Thank you so much and welcome to the bit boss. Congrats. Uh, Final Death deletes all saves. <laughs> If that actually happened, I would probably uh, never talk to you again. Um, so, yeah, I screwed it up the one time and then I had to like quickly figure it out and then I had to get lucky and I got lucky and then the last time I almost killed him too quickly and that would have been bad but I got resist off in time. Like that was like a clutch battle. That was all really fun. So yeah, that, that was awesome. I'm glad we got to end the stream off. Well, end the Final Fantasy VII part of the stream off with a bang. Uh, thank you all so much for the support today. I really appreciate it. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys on YouTube for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Stay awesome. Stay being the cool people that you are. And uh, yeah, I just I really appreciate everything. I had a lot of fun. And I will see you next time for some more Final Fantasy VII Hardcore Mod Action here with Goldie the Gold Chocobo and Boney for the whole rest of the month. He's gonna wave bye to you. No! He's waving bye to you. See you later.